Press checks. I don't know why people are talking about press checks today, but that's the world we live in. So I want to tell you guys about my little press check. What I'm going to do is I got some uh, snap caps in there, trusty Glock with the new uh, magazine release that I just put in. Now people are talking about, well, I do a press check because I want to confirm that the round is chambered, the gun's loaded, the striker is ready, whatever. Happens to be, other guys are saying, I don't bother with the press check because I know if my gun is loaded, uh, you should always know that your gun is loaded if you're going to rely on it, whatever. Uh, other guys are saying, well, that's good by the way, you know, you got your little, if you have a, something like a Glock, you've got this little thing here that sticks out. If you have something like the M&Ps that have the loaded chamber indicator or the XD, <laughs> um, you got other problems there. Uh, but for me, it's pretty simple. So... You know, as I come up, or if I get ready, you know, shoot the stage uh, competition or loading up for the day, whatever it happens to be, get the gun out, take my magazine, again with the snap cap so this is perfectly safe, load that magazine, I'm going to rack the round into the slide. Now, with my gun, I've got some really nice cuts here on the side. I can do a quick little press check there, see that the round is chambered, be ready to go. Goes back in the holster ready to shoot, whatever. Now, typically what I also like to do, and uh, I know some of you guys have seen this before, is load up that round. I do that. I'll, man I'll physically inspect it, look just at it, just like that, and then maybe give the mag a little touch, just to make sure that that's seated correctly before I go because no matter how good your you know that first round is if that round is chambered that's great if your magazine falls out if you that first shot while well, you're still pretty boned now what I don't like is guys doing this kind of thing so come up to the lines and I shouldn't say I don't like it I guess I mean it's it is a personal kind of thing but I don't understand it come up to the line get that gun out Load it, rack it, press check, mag check, slide check, mag check, slide check, slide on the side, I don't know, maybe from the top, make sure my optic's on, empty that, yeah, looks like one came out, back in, another tap, a couple more taps on the back, and then holster, I don't know what you're doing there. I don't know what's wrong with your gun that you think you've got to be banging it all over the place to get it ready to go. And also, when you do that, I don't like see this. Every time you sweep that gun around the side, you make me nervous as hell. That's all I have to say about that today. All right, I was just kidding about that, uh, not having anything else to say today. Uh, you want to talk about press checks on one of these guys? Shorty boy. So, I like P-Mags, and I know that when this P-Mag is full... That round, top round, is on that side. I don't have snap caps for this, so this is just going to be live, but safety is always on. So when I do that, load that in, push pull, rack it. Now, I could pull that back a little bit and check and see if it's in there and get my forward assist a little tap to make sure it's seated. Or, I can hit that mag release, feel that now, that round, top round, is on the other side. That means... That one round has been stripped out of there. Now, since the gun is here, the magazine was in the gun, and there's one missing from the magazine now, there's only one place it could have gone, right? So, maybe a press check on a rifle isn't really necessary, but as so many people have already said, you know, gosh, it just never hurts, really. And that's really it.